Hi everyone, my name is Alex, this is my wife Giovanna, and today we'll be bringing you the devotional, a married devotional mm -hmm. uh, that we want to share with all of you about working together as married couples to advance God's kingdom. And the example we'll look at today is Aquila and Priscilla. And in 1 Corinthians, 1 Corinthians, I'm sorry, Acts chapter 18, I want to read a passage from Acts chapter 18 and verse 24. That shows an example of how this married couple worked together to advance God's kingdom. Mm -hmm. In Acts 18, verse 24, it says, Meanwhile, a Jew named Apollos, a native of Alexandria, came to Ephesus. He was a learned man with a thorough knowledge of the scriptures. He had been instructed in the way of the Lord, and he spoke with great fervor and taught about Jesus accurately. Though he only knew the baptism of John, he began to speak boldly in the synagogue when Priscilla and Aquila heard him, they invited him to their home and explained to him the way of God more adequately. What I love about this passage, you see this married couple working together to advance God's kingdom. Yeah. Here you have Apollos, who the Bible describes as having thorough knowledge of Scripture. Yeah. And it tells you that this married couple, Aquila and Priscilla, were able to explain to him the Scriptures more adequately, which means they both knew the Scriptures themselves. Yeah. But they worked together mm -hmm. to help Apollos understand God more clearly. Mm. And it's an example for all of us that we are as married couples to work together to advance God's kingdom. I also think as Paul writes about uh, writes to them in Roman in the book of uh, Rome Romans, he says in Romans chapter 16 verse 3, he says, "Please greet uh, Priscilla and Aquila, my co-workers in Christ Jesus." Mm -hmm. The apostle Paul looked at Aquila and Priscilla as both both of them being co-workers. He says, please say thank you, say hi. Because he knew that they were with him doing God's work together. Yeah. And as married couples, we should look to them as an example of working together mm -hmm. to advance God's kingdom. Yeah. I mean, I, I absolutely admire and respect Priscilla and Aquila tremendously. Mm -hmm. This is one couple in the first century that did amazing things for God together. Mm -hmm. And they were tent makers. You know, on the side, they work hard but yet they had an amazing heart for God. Mm. You know, here we see how uh, Apollos was teaching, but then they both decided to take him into their home and teach him. And mm. that's amazing to me. And it's so inspiring to see a couple so devoted to God, a husband and a wife. And I know that most likely Apollos and Priscilla had diff different um, strengths and weaknesses. And that's probably what made, them, what made them such an amazing couple is that one had maybe one strength and the other one had, you know, better than the other one and vice versa. And, mm -hmm. and I think even now that's what makes amazing couples. When you enter a home, you just see uh, unity. You just see um, how a husband and a wife work together to host and to teach and to study the Bible with people and to disciple. And, and I find that to be inspiring. And mm -hmm. I think... More than ever, we need couples. We need husband and wife to work together and because that does make a huge impact in our culture and in this world that we live in right now. I know for me, um, you know, the strengths that I have or the strengths that Alex has, we don't have, we both don't have it. But when we work together, it's like we, we come as one and we're able to do great things for God. And even... Um, not only were they tent makers, but they also had a house church meeting at their home. You know, in 1 Corinthians 16, 19, it is alluded to the fact. It's, it, there's a reference that said that they had a church that met at their house. And I just find it amazing that this couple, um, Paul would say co-workers in Christ Jesus, and that they had a house church together, and that they were tent makers. And I just think that's it, that they, they, they did it all. And I, and I just imagine how they did it all because they loved Jesus, because they were devoted mm. to God. But then I'm pretty sure they used each other's strengths. And I know for a fact for us, I mean, when we have people come over, it's together, when we work together, that it makes an impact for, for whoever comes into our home. Amen. I think even with that thought is that you see that very often, um, Aquila and Priscilla use their home to advance God's kingdom. Uh, so that took a lot of planning and, and thinking through, um, but they're quick to invite someone to their home. And then, if, uh, as was mentioned in 1 Corinthians uh, 16, 19, there's a, a reference to them having a house church in their home. 
their home was used as a as a base for God's kingdom. Uh, they, I, I only can assume they, they had a place for Bible study, a place to have people over, and so they were just focused on the mission. Yeah. And so I think as married couples, a lot of things going on around us that can distract us. But let it be that we think about Aquila and Priscilla as an example of being on the mission together and advancing God's kingdom, and to be focused on things that have eternal. Um, um, it's internal purposes, not just temporary purposes. Mm -hmm. So let's think about that. Uh, and again, it's uh, Acts 18, 24 through uh, 26. Think about Aquila and Priscilla as we work together as married couples to get, advance God's kingdom. Thank you for your time.